Hi, I'm Barney Trouble with the Royal Flush Crew here at the Emperor's Palace for WPT Deep Stacks, Johannesburg. Now, South Africa is known for many things. It's got a rich culture and history, breathtaking landscape, must-see wildlife, and tasty cuisine. Yet there are times when those last two can combine, when some of the wildlife seems to be must-eat as well. Possibly South Africa's favorite snack is biltong, an air-dried spiced meat snack, not unlike jerky. It's most commonly made from beef, but sometimes you can opt for more exotic varieties. Well, today I'm leveling up from Biltong, as instead of viewing the Big Five on safari, I'm going to be eating the Big Four here at Tribe's African Grill in the Emperor's Palace. This is Maxwell. He's been working at Tribe's for 14 years and is the perfect man to show me through the menu. Good afternoon, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Maxwell. So, uh, what are you going to be cooking me today, Max? Okay, first of all, I would like to uh, recommend the game platter. Our game platter consists of four medallions. It's got the kudu, the warthog, the pala, and the ostrich fillet. Nice. It's about 100 grams of each medallion. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, Max. Look at this. Thank you, sir. There's a game platter. That is impressive looking. Okay, from your left, it's got a kudu. Kudu. You've got a, a warthog with some crispy bacon. Yeah. And you've got a pala. And you've got the ostrich, the black cherry sauce. And you do have some mealy pap and got some tomato and gravy. And you've got some chakalak and some onion rings. Chakalak. Yes. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Thank you very much, sir. Enjoy it. Thank you very much, Max. Wow, look at this. It's hard to know where to start, but I think I'm going to go with one of the two antelopes that are on the plate here, the kudu, which is a large antelope with spiral horns. Here, served, stuffed with cheese. Next up, Mr. Piggy, it's the warthog. Now this, unlike pork, is not a white meat. It's a bit darker. Also very good, really well seasoned. Let's take a break from the meat and try one of the biggest staple foods here in South Africa, milipat, which is like a, a polenta made from corn. Dip it in some of this tomato. Oh yeah, perfect accompaniment for this. Right, back to the meats, and now for another type of antelope. This time it's the impala. Much smaller than the kudu. It's known for its speed and its huge jumps when it's startled. Mmm. Oh, that's the best so far. A lovely peppercorn crust. Now, for the biggest bird on the planet, the ostrich. This time served with a black cherry sauce. Now, I know ostrich is a uh, very lean meat. It's probably why they serve it with uh, the sauce like this, to give it a bit more juice. Great combination, and really tender as well. Oh, I love that. Guys, you've got to try this stuff when you're here. It's amazing. Vegetarians, there are other dishes in South Africa just for you, don't worry. But for now, let us carnivores share this glory. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh, this is good. Mmm. What? Wow, that game platter was amazing. I feel like a lion that's just eaten a whole animal. Now, if you're in Johannesburg, I really recommend you try this award-winning restaurant. Right now, I've got to get back to the poker room because there's a main event on.